Jolene Thornton here. Welcome back to my show, Jolene Does It, and your local RPME TV weekly news recap. <laughs> now, on today's show, we're going to be talking about porcupines, we're going to be talking about American Horror Story, and of course, we've got the weather with Jenny Wilkes, and the sports with my Uncle Vinny. Yay! <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, for celebrity news, we've got American Horror Story. <laughs> now, I am a big fan of the show, and they just announced the fourth season is going to be titled American Horror Story Freaks. <laughs> it's going to be taking place in the 50s down in Florida um, about a, a, a circus, of a circus show of freaks with... Jessica Lang running this shit. I am so excited. I'm like, it's titled Freaks? Well, they should have got a hold of me because I got eight and a half kids and a an drunk ex-husband that I've been married and divorced from for three times. And they're all freaks. They can all go on the show, right? I mean, my lord. Maybe I should start my own show called Freaks and just get them all up there. I mean, my little girl Midge, my half-child, is um, a midget, and her name is Midge. <laughs> um, and I like to dress her up as like a little doll. Um, so when guests come in the door, they get a little freaked out. They're like, what's that? I'm like, oh, it's just a, you know, it's just my doll collection. And then she moves, goes, eh. <laughs> they all freak out. <laughs> and then, of course, on Halloween and Christmas, we dress her up as a little troll and put her out in the yard. Or, or a little uh, Christmas elf. <laughs> oh, that don't seem right. But it is! It's fun. It's fun. It's fun, y'all. So, anywho, I'm really excited about the show. I hope y'all check it out. I'm excited to see it again because it's supposed to be Jessica Lange's uh, last season with the show. So, we'll see how that goes. I really love the show with the witches and the, and the insane asylum and the haunted house. It's like, I have lived all that, y'all. I need to start my own show like that. Why don't they pick me up? Son of a bitch. Anywho, that is your celebrity news. <laughs> And now, the weather with my former stalker, <laughs> Janie Wilkes. Janie? Ah, you Jolene! Janie Wilkes here with the weather! It's gonna be really, really nice out this week, and it's gonna be like springtime, like it should be, and warm! I can't wait to try on my new bikini just for you, Jolene! Ah, let me just rub up against you! I'm Jenny Wilson. That, that's the weather. Back to you, Jolene! <laughs> Thanks, Jenny! Circle! <laughs> Now, for world news, and I looked out at CNN, and this was one of the top stories, and it only took place a couple hours away from here, here in Maine. Now, apparently, these guys drove by, the well, they, they were in back of this car, and this car, or truck, or whatever, hit a porcupine on the road, and it killed it. And they stopped by because, um... Um, they wanted to cut out the Beezer Stone or something like that. It's some mineral that is in porcupines that the Asians find as like an aphrodisiac or it's really expensive or whatever. Anywho, they stopped on the side of the road, got the dead porcupine, and they were going to, they cut it open and they were going to try to find like the little mineral or stone, and they found a little baby in a sack. The porcupine was pregnant, so... The guy, one of the guys, cut open the sack and started rubbing it and all this stuff spewed out of its mouth. And they saved the baby. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> um, the clam just thinking about it. It's such a heartwarming story. And 
they did revive the baby. He's been raising it um, for the past week in his apartment. The guy that saved the little pork and my baby with um, baby formula. And his little girls, his, he has a little daughter, her baby doll, for, uh, baby bottle. And it really works. And they've been feeding it. And then they're going to, um, of course, give it to a... Um, um, like a, a natural preserve here in Maine for animals. So, oh, such a heartwarming story. Because when it comes to porcupines, I'm going to tell you, y'all. Y'all know I don't like that much of porcupines. Because I last year I lived in a place where I had an ant house. And a porcupine lived underneath there. And it freaked the frig out of me. The total frig out of me, y'all. It creeped me out. No, I was sitting on there pissing. And then it could... Shoot up its quails and stab my 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 cherry muffin. Mm. <laughs> but actually, if you want to know about porcupines, a lot a myth is that they shoot out their quills. They don't. You can have a porcupine, but don't be afraid of it unless you touch it. Unless you touch it, when you touch it, that is when they shoot them quills and they stab you with them. But otherwise. Them cute little critters are harmless. Just don't touch the shit, okay? <laughs> and that is your world news. <laughs> and now, the sports with my Uncle Vinny. Uncle Vinny? Ah, oh, hi there, Jolene. It's your Uncle Vinny here with the spots. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, it isn't very spotting. Is the Aunt Lelene throwing me out? Because I passed out drunk in the outhouse. That ain't very spotting. <coughs> but I'll tell you what is spotting, Jolene. That toothless stripper that lives down in the back alley and plays at that pole dancing place. Giving me a place to sleep. <laughs> Actually, we don't <coughs> get much sleep there, Jolene. Not much sleep at all. And I think I got a cephalos. Yeah. That's spotting, but it ain't. Back to you, Jolene. <laughs> you old coot. We can't get him to the nursing home fast enough. <laughs> All right, that's your local RP Emmy Weekly News Recap with me, Jolene Thornton. And thank you for joining me for my show, Jolene Does It. <laughs> now, if you like the video, hit the like button below. If you want to leave a comment, I'll get back to you. So leave a comment below. Other than that, subscribe to our channel, y'all. And thank you all once again for joining me. Until next time, this is Jolene Thornton saying bye for now.